Continuing our insight into the Giro, InCycle takes a look at the key mountain stages that could very well decide the Maglia Rosa for 2014. Joining us once more is Eros Poli, a former sprinter by trade. He is, however, no stranger to the big mountains. He famously won stage 15 of the 1994 Tour de France, which featured an ascent of the notorious Mont Ventoux. This week we focus on stage 20, the penultimate stage in this year's Giro, at 167 kilometres long, including two Category 1 climbs. The riders push to their limits. The Zoncolan has become such a Giro staple that it's easy to forget it's a relative newcomer to this race. As the departure city of Mantiago plays host for the first time, riders will set off for 100 kilometres of fairly flat pedalling through the valleys before the mountains beckon. Passing through the Paso del Pura first, before a short descent and the climb up Celarazzo, the peloton then face a 28-kilometre descent to the foot of Monte Zoncolan. At the foothills, a gruelling 10 kilometres uphill begins. We join Eros before the final push. Oh yeah. At the bottom of the Zoncolan is the stage number 20. Your high, the riders when you arrive here, you ride about 155 kilometers. I'm very scared. It's my first time in the Zoncolan. By now, all the riders will be beyond tired, so it's about their ability to haul themselves over the last mountain and on to glory. This climb. It's the one of the hardest wars. For me, it's the hardest in the war. Just imagine, in 10 kilometers, you climb for 1,200 meters. This is the last climb of the Giro. A brutal climb. Well, you really have to push very hard to arrive at the top. After 157 kilometers in the saddle, it could all count for nothing if the rider can't handle the final 10 Ks and the ascent up to the Giro gods. It can always be daunting to see what's in front of you, no matter who you are or which jersey you wear. Oh my God. Oh, mamma mia. I can't believe that. Oh. Two kilometers out from the start of the Zoncola and just now start this brutal ascension. The final kilometers rise steeply. With gradients reaching 22%, the riders will struggle to find a rhythm they can sit in. With three k's left to go, the gradient drops a little so riders can attack. That is, if they've anything left in the tank. Oh. 21% here. This is the steeper part. There's really only one way to sum up this stage. Bruta. Really bruta. With the incline peaking at 22%, the GC riders still in contention will have to bury themselves for one final time. The punishing gradient may ease up into single digits near the end, but the fight goes on. The last three kilometers, the average is about 8%. but it's the moment to push, very, to push very hard for the victory. Last big stage in the mountain. With 20 days in the saddle, over 3,270 kilometers covered and countless transfers, the riders will be exhausted to the point that many will be nursed over the finish line. You just arrived now in the flat part, the easy part before the last two kilometers. No recovery, as it's flat, because the riders here, they know it's the last chance to drive at the top like a winner or a loser. It's flat, but the pain is the same. No difference, it's flat, or a climb with 15%. Why are you fighting for the pain? Any rider with designs on a win today or even merely wishing to defend their position on the overall classification will have to dig very, very deep. You need the top, 
you have a needed 1700 meters uh, maybe one can be enough to the finish to be here now touching the snow refresh my face have fun the weather condition is not perfect but now from now just a couple of minutes for the ride to the right to the top to ride to the glory and celebrate the magic moment at the end of this magic stage last kilometer from here ultimo kilometer and my right Marco Pantani special moment my friend for you thank you I have an honor to ride with you